our numeracy is in decline, the NCA system is on the scrap heap. Well, that's probably a little bit of an over-exaggeration, but, yeah, it is getting some changes. Uh, urgent changes are needed to give our ailing maths standards a bit of a lifeline. Enter the ancient abacus and education company SIP Abacus, which aims to give kids the foundation and the confidence that they need for success in the classrooms. Harpreet Singh is with SIP and Japnam Kwa Kaur, forgive me, is one of the students from SIP Abacus and they're with me in the studio. Good morning. Good morning, Ryan. Harpreet, it's lovely to have you both here. Tell us what it is you're doing. Um, <coughs> We are helping children to regain the concentration and become really good in mental arithmetic. So for example, uh, the children when they come to us, today's education system, you know, it's uh, the children are quite struggling in mathematics. When they come to us within a year, their math skills improve considerably. When I say considerably, it's not like six months or one year, they receive a push about four to six years worth of math education within a year of being with SIPI because thanks to this, so-called ancient tool, the abacus. <laughs> Japnam, what, have, what was your level like when you started using the abacus, when you, you joined with SIP, and what's it like now? I was struggling. I was like really afraid of numbers before I joined abacus, and then abacus helped me gain confidence, and I learned a lot. And now I'm quite well and like quite good with numbers now. Can you, because this thing's so ancient, how, how does it even work? How pretty? <clears throat> For that, um, so what happens is like the abacus is uh, divided into rods, and each rod rep represents the place value. For example, the units, the tens, the hundreds. So, for example, if you give us any kind of sum, we can just uh, work on it. Uh, so, first we start working on the abacus. So, in this initial six months, the child works on the abacus, and then the child can imagine the beads in the mind, and you start. Uh, you're able to work without that, and the children can visualize the abacus and uh, do the numbers in the mind. Okay, I've got some uh, some examples here that I can run through with you if, you, if you're keen to do that. How do you feel about that, Japna? Sure. Shall I hit you with it? Okay. Uh, okay, so the ones that I've been given, and this is hard because I, I, I hope I'm not expected to have the answer. <laughs> uh, 2 plus 7 plus 7 plus 8 plus 7 plus 2 plus 2 plus 8 plus 9 plus 2. 54. Did we give you these beforehand? <laughs> <laughs> Are we cheating? <laughs> uh, apparently we're not. Uh, all right, what about this one? Uh, 786 times 8. 6288. Eight. Wow, this is incredible. Is this the kind of results you get from all students? Are some That's students right. better at using this than, and, and adapting to this than others? She's an average child with us, so you can imagine the better ones are much better. And some children obviously do struggle. There are always some strugglers, but even the autistic children, they are able to do this at similar uh, levels as she is able to do it today. What do you think the biggest barrier is for young people when it comes to, you know, it's not just maths, but education more generally. We talk a lot about this at the moment. What do you think the biggest barriers are for people? Uh, today, there's not much motivation for children to be proficient in mathematics, for example. Um, Mathematics was optional. You could get credits and you could clear NCA level one. Now with the education system changing, it's necessary for the foundation skills award that's going to be replacing NCA level one that you need to have a good level of numeracy. Numeracy is becoming an integral part of the education system. The government has introduced one hour of compulsory numeracy education in the school. Now, it's a triangle. The children are struggling because the teachers are not doing well enough because the parents are... So it's not just one aspect, it is a triangle. And when all three factors get together, the parents, the children, and the education system or the teachers, that's when the children can succeed and there is a problem in all parts of the triangle at the moment. And in comes the advocates to solve it all.